Hey guys, I wanted to get on here and uh, talk to you about being scammed on eBay. I sold an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I sold it for $709.88. Um, I was ripped off that phone. Um, I will tell you how eventually after a 25 day fight, uh, I was able to finally convince eBay that I was scammed and I was able to finally get a refund. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because this is a difficult scam to convince eBay of. They, they don't really believe you when you call and talk to them about it. Um, it, it is a hard one to convince. What I want to show you in this video is how uh, to compile all the evidence that you need prior to opening an appeal, prior to calling eBay, and finally convincing a customer service representative um, to help you get refunded. Thankfully, the, the buyer um, has finally been removed from eBay. I did finally get a refund, uh, but I'm going to tell you this was a weekly battle I would call uh, twice a week. I would uh, talk to the escalations department, I would talk to team leaders, I would talk to eBay uh, customer service, um, and I did this over and over again. And I wasn't going to give up because I didn't want this to happen to other sellers. Um, it's a good scam. So let's just get right into it. Let me show you uh, what happened. Um, I'll show you the order right here. Here it is. Picture of it. July 17th, I blacked out the buyer and his address and stuff. I just don't want to uh, cause any issues there. But you can see the um, $709 down here and 88 cents. iPhone 13 Pro Max. Here it is, one terabyte. Uh, the the man bought it um, him and I had some dialogue ahead of time it was a finance phone so I sold it as is I made sure he knew that I asked him that he was okay with the description which had no returns it was it was a purchase at your own risk and he had communicated with me um, before buying it and um, seemed like he was a, a reasonable reseller uh, he only had nine feedback so I had signature on I had um, insurance on uh, these have protected me from scams in the past and so I made sure to to put these um, these safeguards in place in order not to get scammed so he gets the phone uh, about three or four days later I get a return request um, he sends me one message saying that he's had an issue with the phone and so then I start reaching out to him and he will not respond. I know what eBay is going to do in the situation because I've had, um, I've had returns turned off and eventually eBay sides with the buyer and makes you take a return. I understand what they're trying to do there. They need to compete with Amazon. They, they force returns. So anyway, I wanted to call eBay because I was trying to just figure out what was wrong with the phone and the man would not respond to me. So I called eBay before I even got the return and I asked him what I should do because I knew on Friday that I would be forced to accept the return. And just in case you don't know this, if a case, been, if a case has been opened against you and you are forced to accept a return and they side with the side of the buyer, they will not refund you your fees and so there was a lot of fees on this phone it's like hundred and nine dollars or something along those lines I can't remember the exact amount and so basically I knew that was going to happen I knew they were gonna force the return but I didn't want to accept the return if I didn't have to because I know I sold this man a perfectly working phone I mean this thing was in absolutely great condition uh, if you saw that on the the original listing I have it right here it says great so um, I call eBay ask them what they do they say reach out to the buyer one more time so I did that no response next day comes case has been opened eBay forces the return the man has a tracking number given and I it says that the 
package has been shipped. So surprisingly, Monday morning, I mean, this guy lives in Florida. Um, Monday morning, the, it says the package is going to be delivered. I'm really surprised it's, it's here already, um, but I'm like just waiting for it. I, I, I have to see this package. I, I don't want it to get lost. I don't want anybody to steal it out of my mailbox. Um, and so as soon as I see uh, my mail lady, I, I run up to the mailbox. I look for the package. It's not in there. I get a notification on my phone, and it says that the buyer's been refunded, and it says... <laughs> He's been refunded seven hundred and eight dollars and or seven hundred and nine dollars and eighty eight cents and I'm like, where's this package? And so I start going to my neighbors, I'm knocking on doors, I'm asking them if they've seen this package. Um, it says that the mail lady just delivered it, and all of them are like, We didn't get a package. You can check our mailbox. There's there's no packages. Um and so I know immediately what eBay is going to ask of me. They're going to say, this is a post office problem. They've lost your package. You need to file a claim with them. So I know that. So I call USPS right away. I get a person, I open a investigation. They get to my local post office. This investigation is open. Here was mistake number one. Then I called eBay. I should have waited till I talked to my local post office. I call eBay, I tell them that I don't have the package, I tell them that it's lost, I tell them that they've already refunded the buyer, but I never even got to look to see if I had the phone. Um, the lady then forces me to open an appeal. I didn't want to. Why didn't I want to? Because I know eBay only gives you one appeal. So please be careful. Um, get all the evidence before you call eBay. You have 30 days. So I was impatient because I just lost a good amount of money, and so I wanted to call. I had called the post office. I didn't wait for the all the information before I called eBay. I was forced to, to open an appeal. I'm going to tell you right now, that appeal was denied almost in like immediately. Why? Because the tracking number said the package was delivered to my hometown. I get off the phone and I have a voicemail and it's from my local postmaster. So I call her back and she says, sir, it looks like unfortunately you have been scammed. I'm like, what do you mean? And she says, um, the tracking number that you gave me to open the investigation was not addressed to you and it was not delivered to you. And I said, well, what's the package look like? And she says, it looks like a bubble mailer. And it didn't weigh very much, so it probably didn't have anything in it or something that was very light. And so she said, and I go, well, I was expecting it to be an iPhone. And she goes, this is not an iPhone. And I, I said, well, where is the package delivered? She said, it, it, it was delivered in your town. It just wasn't delivered to you. And I'm like, what do you mean? It was kind of confusing to me. And she said, somehow they've manipulated the label to be shipped to the right town, but not to the right person. And so she said, I'll send you a picture of it. And then I said, well, can you also write me an email saying that I've been scammed because I need to give this information to eBay. So she sends me a picture of the label. And so if you can look at this label here, you will see that this, this tracking number is my correct tracking number. This tracking number is on the return label that eBay gives, gave to the buyer. What happened is, is this person then manipulated this label. They opened up Adobe Pro. They did it in Photoshop. I don't know how they did it. But here's a few things. First off, this is not my name, F.G. That's not me. The, this address, she wouldn't give it to me. She blacked it out. But as you can see, I mean, well, you can't see, but I know this. This isn't my address. But this is my town. 
right here, this is actually not the name that was on this order. These two names are different. I have them blacked out because I'm just trying to protect myself. Um, but the names are actually different. And so she shows me this is different. So eBay would have given the label. And if you've had returns on eBay, you know that returns on eBay have the return address as the buyer and the, then your address as the seller. And it's coming to you. Well, on this package that she gave me, neither were matching up. Neither were uh, what would have been originally on that label. And so it was clear that the label had been manipulated. So basically what the scammer does is he prints out the label or he just downloads a copy of the PDF. He finds an address, a legitimate address of someone in your hometown. He then puts that, takes your address off and puts that address on the label. He puts a fake name on because he doesn't want his name to be on there because it's obviously illegal to tamper with United States Postal Service shipping labels. And so he does that, but he puts a, a fake name and a fake address or whatever on there um, to basically protect himself. And the reason the scam works is because of the tracking number. So through the system, through the computer system, the tracking number says the entire way through every state that it's coming to me, that it's coming to my address. Uh, their computer system says it's coming to my address. Well, then it gets the very last stop, right? And that is with the mailman, the mailwoman. She gets this. It's got the address on it. The last stop, they don't care about the tracking number anymore. What do they care about? The address. That's what they need. That's that's what they need in order to get to the right mailbox or the right porch. And so she gets it filed into her compartment because it's going to that address. She drives to that address. She puts it in the mailbox. Then she scans the barcode and says package is delivered. So the computer says that the package has been delivered to my house. But because she went by the address on the label, she delivered it to someone else's house. They go out to get the mail. There's a package. The package is empty or the package is just a bubble mailer. And the person that's getting it is completely confused. I don't remember ordering this. Why is this here? But eBay sees that the return has been delivered because the tracking on USPS.com says delivered. And here's the, here's why eBay will refund the buyer. It's because it was refunded or it was delivered to your town, even though it wasn't delivered to your address. And so I got the and this, you'll need to do this. If this happens to you, you'll need to do this. First, you need to get a picture of the package from your local. The first step was, right, open a case with USPS. Get a picture of the package. Speak to your local postmaster. Have her write you an email saying that you've been scammed. Have her give you that information. And here you can see what she, the email that she wrote me. Um, she says, thank you for taking the time to notify us of your experience. Your request has been resolved. I've researched your case. When I pulled up a picture of the package with this tracking number, I found this package was not addressed to you, nor was it addressed to your address. Unfortunately, it looks like you may have been scammed. And then it will say her name sincerely. So after I got this information, I call eBay. And I say, hey, I've been scammed. So. The next step, in case you're wondering, once you get this information from the post office, go into the messages, hit contact buyer, upload these pictures, take screenshots of the email, take screenshots of the, the doctored label and put them in the messages to the buyer. That way eBay has them because they can see your messages and they'll be able to see what you're talking about. That's really important. So do that, then call them. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I called customer service so many times. And every time I called them, 
they couldn't understand this. They just kept saying, sir, the tracking number cannot be wrong. The tracking number says that it was delivered to your house. You have the phone. The proof that it was delivered to you is that the tracking number says that it was delivered to your hometown. Every appeal, every appeal to appeal that I had, it was always denied because their system just kicks it out. And as long as that tracking number says that it was delivered to your town, to your address, then eBay takes the side of the buyer. So how did I finally convince them? Here's how I finally convinced them. I would get them on the phone and I would say, please pull up the return label. I would have them read to me the address. And then I would show them and then I would say, now please pull up my messages and find my picture of the shipping label that was given to me by my local post office. And I would ask them, are the labels the same? And every time, finally, the light bulb would go off and they would say, well, no, they're not the same. And then I would ask them, you have to ask them obvious questions. You have to handle them with kid gloves. You have to really work on helping them see because they've just been trained tracking number can't be wrong tracking number is the proof that it's been delivered tracking number means refund for buyer you've got to break that thinking and help them see that your shipping label has been manipulated and so that's what i would ask them i would say why are the shipping labels different and that's the moment they would have the light bulb go off and they would say uh, the shipping label must have been tampered with. And I say precisely, if they're different, does that mean that something fishy is going on? And they would say, yes, something fishy is going on. And then I would say, okay, now that you've seen that the labels are different, will you open the email and read it from the postmaster? And they would read it. And then I would ask them, do you believe that I've been scammed? And finally, their answers would be yes. And so I'm telling you, I had like six to seven eBay customer service representatives finally tell me that they believe that I was scammed. But every time they would send it to the appeals department, it would be denied because the appeals department would just go to the tracking number and see that the package was delivered to my town and they would deny the request. So how did I finally get through? First off, don't make my mistake. Upload all the information before you make the appeal. But how did I finally get, the, get it reversed? How did I get um, refunded for this finally? Um, I'm going to tell you how I did it. I started calling up and I would ask for someone in leadership instead of trying to talk to um, the people that were just, just kind of had the can response, the people that had been just trained to kind of put out fires. Um, I would call them up, or I would call them up, I would go through the thing, and then I would say, can I please speak to a manager? Can I please speak to someone in leadership? And um, I would, I would finally get someone in leadership. I'm just, I'm just sh wanting to show you that I was able to actually get the refund. I was trying to pull up that email real quick. So it says we've sent a refund of seven oh nine eighty eight. So I just wanted you to see that I actually finally did get this refund, and I did finally see the buyer's account has been taken down, and so this was successful. So I would get on the phone with the leadership with the person on the leadership team and um i would have to go through the whole thing and i'm going to tell you right now some of them are going to interrupt you some of them are going to tell you it's not possible <laughs> it's going to be hard some of them are going to get angry i actually had customer service representatives from ebay get angry with me because they would just tell me the proof is that the the tracking number was delivered to my house 
once I would show them the tampered label, I would have them pull up the return label. I would show them that they were different. I would have them read the email. I had to go through this every single time. Once I convinced the guy that was in leadership finally, um, and I had talked to multiple managers, but one particular manager I spoke to, I really tried to appeal to his conscience. I said to him, I said, you believe I've been scammed, right? And he says, yes, I do. And I said, well, do you, do you care about eBay? Do you care about sellers? Um, and he said, yeah, I do. And I said, well, if you don't fight for me, if you don't make this right, this is going to happen to a lot of other sellers. This buyer is on eBay, and this is a good scam, and not everybody's going to fight it like me. And other people are going to be harmed by this, and eBay is going to continue to side with those buyers. And I said, we've got to change eBay's practices when it comes to tampered shipping labels. And so I said, if you do believe I've been scammed, then please don't stop until I get refunded and until this buyer is removed from eBay. And I made him promise me <laughs> before I got off the phone. I said, promise me you'll fight for me. And he said at the end of the conversation, he says, you're a fighter and I'm going to fight for you. And he gave me a reference number and he told me to call him every three days to make sure he was continuing to fight my case. And I told him how much that meant to me and I really appreciated it. And I was confident he was going to be able to reverse this decision. So three days came. I woke up that morning, 7.29 a.m. is when that email came through and I didn't have to call him. Uh, he was a man of his word. He fought for me. He continued to follow up, and he got me the refund. And so that's it. Um, that's how I was able to get refunded from this, this very good eBay scam. So just to sum up what you should do, if you get a delivery notification of a return, and that return is not at your address, first call USPS. Second, wait for the postmaster, your local postmaster, to call you. Ask about the package. It could just be genuinely lost, but ask about the package. Ask who it was addressed to. Ask if it was your address. If they tell you it wasn't, then at, start asking for pictures, proof. Ask for an email detailing the scam detailing that the the shipping label was not addressed to you and it was not delivered to you once you have all that information put it into ebay do it through messages take screenshots of the emails of the pictures and put them into the messages of the buyer then call customer service convince the person you're talking to that you've been scammed and open up an appeal if your appeal is denied, don't give up. Keep calling eBay back. Speak to a leader. Speak to a manager. Be extremely detailed. One thing you can't do is you you can't fight it. They'll they'll tell you you need to go file a claim with USPS. And you need to say in that moment, the package was not delivered to me. I have no right to go look for the package i have no right to report a lost or stolen package because the package that they received was addressed to them not to you there's no way to fight it with usps so remind ebay of that you keep fighting you keep explaining you keep going back to the documents you will eventually get refunded it might take you 20 hours i'm not sure how much time i worked on it but it certainly was worth $700, and I'm grateful that I was able to get refunded. I hope this doesn't happen to you. If you guys made it all the way to the end of this 25-minute video almost, please let me know in the comments below how you've been scammed on eBay. How did you fight it? How did you, how did you get your money back? Did you get your money back? Did the scammer win? Uh, let me know. 
If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, share it with any reseller so that they, they won't also get scammed. Uh, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time.